Shalom. I foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yosha Bashem Rakakadash. The honors to the elders and the apostles for the advocation of knowledge and to Wadi Yahweh Yosha for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles so we can become edified regarding this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yahweh Bashem Yosha Bashem Rakakadash and give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. Let's go to um, Ephesians chapter. Go to Ephesians um, five fourteen through sixteen. Let's go. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou, thou sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach Yahweh shall give thee light. See then ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the times because they're evil. And when you walk circumspect, that means pretty much paying attention um, to your environment. Pretty much in a circular motion. Pay attention to what's going on around you, man. Because the times we're, we're, we're in, we're in, we in evil days. And evil goes to re relating to perilous and bad times, man. Let's look up that word circumspect. Mm. Circumspect. Circumspect. Weary, un unwilling to take risk. The words are ca um, similar words. Caution, weary, careful, cherry, guarded. Let's get the etymology of that. get a better definition okay. here we go circumspect look around around about look so paying attention around about looking in all corners all ways man Pretty much circular motion, man. Um, let's get it in um, in, in um, the blue letter. Here we go in Hebrew. It would be Shama. Shamar would be, um, Definition, biblical use, to keep guard, observe, give heed, to keep, have charge, to keep guard, keep watch, ward, protect, save life. And 
Now, in Hebrew, that word is shamar, shamar, uh, probably to hedge about, to guard, generally to protect, attend, to um, be war, be circumspect, take heed, to self, keep, self, mark, narrow, narrowly, observe, preserve, regard, reserve, save. So, circle spec is pretty much, we have to be well guarded, observing the environment we're in, man, because we're in very um, um, critical times, bro. Let's continue on. Matthews 10, 16. Matthews 10, 16. But I, behold, I will send you forth as, as sheep in the midst of the wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Because you're going to be in the middle of, midst of wolves, man. You know, you're sheep, so you're a target, man. So it's pretty much conducting yourselves in a proper way. To the best of your abilities, because you're among pretty much... In a hostile environment, man. You deal with hostile entities around you, man. So, so you have to be circumspective, be wise, and, um, and ultimately you just have to carry yourself, you know, um, use discretion and be and wise, and discerning certain things and, and pretty much acting accordingly. All right, let's continue on. Go to um, James four four. Because the times we're in, a lot of people are not observing what, what what's really going on, man. Many are blinded, man. You know. Four and four, ye adulterers, ye adulterers and adulteresses, no. That know ye not that a friendship of the world is an enmity. Enmity is um, an enemy, man. Somebody who's an um, uh, enemy to the Lord. Who, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, man. So ones who are friend of the world are enemy to the Lord, ultimately, man. The two thirds, ones who are blinded, are 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 friend and our friend regarding the ways of this world, man. So they would be ultimately an enemy to the Lord, man. Let's go to Matthew, uh, let's go to um, Proverbs 21 and 16. Proverbs 21 and 16. It's 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, which is his truth of knowledge, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And the congregation of the dead is ones who are spiritually dead, man. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Where they even are dismayed at them. They're going to be dismayed when certain things really come and manifest, especially according to prophecy, man. You know, they're going to be, because it's going to take them by the su surprise because many are blinded and they weren't prepared and they didn't anticipate certain things from a spiritual aspect to uh, to come upon them. They say, Lord will come like, like a thief in the night. A thief is going to come when you least expect it. You know what I mean? They're going to come when you're un. When, yeah, when you least expect it and you're not expecting them to come. And that's how the Lord's going to come. You know, and many is going to take people by surprise. So they're going to be dismayed at when certain things are manifested, man. To be honest with you, most people probably would be. Because these things, these people never seen things like that. You know, none of us have. 
So, but the point is, from a spiritual aspect, it's gonna it's gonna take people by surprise because um, uh, most are blinded by this. Most are blinded by this. Um, let's continue on. Let's go back to Proverbs one. Proverbs one. Proverbs 1. Because many people don't believe these things, man. They think it's a fairy tale, man, regarding the scriptures in the Bible. They laugh at this stuff, man. So they're going to be real shocked when actually these things come to pass, man. These people are, are pretty much going to, they, they're not going to have, <laughs> they, they're, gonna, they're, 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 they're probably going to, they're, they're, they're not going to know how to react, man, when they see these things. They're going to be in, in all in shock, man. So the heathen will be dismayed, man. The ones that um, start with the elect, the elders and apostles, and them, they, you know, they're gonna be, um, they're gonna be, they're gonna be enjoyed because of these things, man. Because they prepare, they understand, they understand these things um, that's to come, man. But the heathen, they don't, man, and they don't believe it. Let's go to our Proverbs one, Shalakia. I got tongue twisted. <clears throat> Let's go to one and five. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall obtain into the wise counsel, man. So they're gonna take counsel right to this wisdom and knowledge, man. This wisdom and knowledge, man. Increase in learning and take and take ones that are in this truth and knowledge, that wise counsel, man. Um, number seven. Fear the Lord is the beginning of, of knowledge. The fear of the Lord, how you fear the Lord? By uh, uh, doing His commandments, doing as the Lord says. That's how you fear Him, man. Um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's the congregation of the dead. They despise the wisdom and knowledge and, uh, and the instruction of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So they're going to despise it, man. But the ones who are awakened and spiritual, spiritually are going to try to take heed to that, to the knowledge, to the best of their abilities, man. Rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Judges 5 and 11, man. Let's go to... Um, Exodus 23 and 2. Exodus 23 and 2. This is Exodus 23 and 2. Um, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil neither shall thou speak and a cause to decline after the many to rest in judgment so follow not the multitude to do evil so don't follow the ways as the heathen do man. separate man uh, Micah 2 and 10 uh, arise ye depart for this is not a place of your rest it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction Micah 2 and 10. So you have to detach yourself from the ways of this world, man. Because if not, you're going to partake the judgment of the ways of this world, man. So you have to detach from the ways of the customs and the ways of this world, man. Remove yourself from the affairs of this life, man. Begin to. Um, go to... Um Go to first the Kings. First the Kings, um First the Kings three and nine. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. So that wisdom and understanding, that discretion, that wisdom and understanding to make the, uh, to know the difference between good and evil. For who is able to judge this, thy so great a people, man? And that wisdom and understanding, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you know, be able to discern and dif differentiate between good and bad, man, by using the wisdom and understanding regarding this knowledge and truth, man. Um, go to, um, let's 
go to Ecclesiastes, third chapter. Ecclesiastes, third chapter. It's number eight, a time to love, a time to hate, a time to war, and a time of peace. We're in a time of, um, of war, man. It's not peace. Just look at the state and condition of society, man. You're seeing all kinds of chaos, tyranny, all over many countries all over the world. You know, you're seeing protests, freedom protests against different uh, requirements, mandates, and different things, man. So you're seeing a lot of unrest, man. Afghanistan, different places of the world, man. So we're in a time of uh, war, man, and not a time of peace, man. To everything, number one, to, er to everything there is a season and a time and every purpose purpose under the heaven, man. So it's a time and season, the purpose of that time and season for everything. So we in the times of regarding, for example, we in the times of prophecy, man. That's the season. That's the season we're in, man. That's why you see in the things that's going on all over the world, man. Because we in the, we in the very latter, latter times regarding this, uh, according to the scriptures, man. We in the Matthews 24, we in the Luke 21, we in the Mark 13, we in the Second Ezra 15, we in the Second Ezra 16, we in Revelations, parts of Revelations. We get, get closer to that Revelations 13, man. Famous chapter, man. We in these times, man. So we in the times of prophecy, man. Of course, everything to its purpose, man. There's a purpose to it, man. Ultimately, um, to bring in a better, a more righteous kingdom and to pretty much remove ways of the old man relating to this kingdom. Second Ezra six and um second Ezra six, seven and nine without going too off. Uh, for Esau's uh, for Esau's the end of the world and Jacob's to begin that follow up man. So a end of a time period of an age is gonna end and a new one's gonna take its place, man. So we in that time, man. We in the curses of that time, man. High time to wake out of sleep because our salvation may be nearer than we believe. Romans 13 and 11. Let's continue on. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 2. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 2, 12. Um, now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of Yahweh that we might know the things that are fully given to us of Yahweh which things also we speak not in the words which men's, man's wisdom teach it but which the Holy Ghost of Rakakadash teach of comparing spiritual things but spiritual, so things that's spiritual, man. Things that are spiritual. Um, but the natural man receiving not the things of spiritual, which is a carnal man, they can't receive things, they can't, they can't identify, they can't understand or grasp things that's the spiritual, man. Not on a carnal mindset. But the natural man receiving not the things of the spiritual, the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So for, so they have the congregation of the dead, man. And they're carnal, man. And really, realistically, the Lord probably don't want them to get it. So they have the dead. So they're not going to understand things that's spiritual, man. So when you, when you, um, when you come at them with spiritual things, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to take it a certain way because really it cuts them man you know what i mean let's see proverbs 28 um the wicked flee when no one pursue but the righteous what are bold as a lion man so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't pretty much it doesn't set well with someone um that's carnal taking spiritual things on especially if they don't really want to receive that so they can't that's why they can't accept it man you know because it's not it's not for them to receive it man for example of that when they scuff and mock scuff and come and mock at you regarding scriptures man they cut they cut because um 
they're carnal, carnally minded. They don't understand these things. All right, let's continue on. Um, and to put balance on it, just to put balance on it, if, we, if, if the roles were reversed, that could be, such, for example, me or anybody else, man. I could be in that role where not to receive it. So it's, it's all about balance and understanding, you know? Go to Wisdom, Solomon 3, 3 and 9. It's Wisdom, Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, which is his knowledge, and shall, as a faithful in love, shall abide with him in the grace and mercy to his saints, and he care for his elect. The saints are the prophets and the elect, the hopeful elect, man. This is all about the elect, man. The churches don't teach that, man. They don't teach that, really, the Lord's coming back for the elect, man. And through the elect, which is that remnant, the rest of Israel come back in the next kingdom, man. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their imaginations, which they have neglected the righteousness and forsaken the Lord. And I'll go to Second Ezra uh, 9 through uh, 12, I guess, 12 or 13. So they rejected it, man, because they, instead of taking heed to it, they despised it. Man. They despised this word. And that relates to pretty much the majority of people, two-thirds of our people, you know, especially. They despise, they forsake it because they rejected it, man. For whosoever despises the wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labor is unfruitful and their works are unprofitable. Man. So it's going to be um, not a good position for them, man, ultimately. Um, let me read 2nd Ezra 6. No. Um, Wisdom of Solomon 6, and uh, I want to get 24 and 25. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is upholding of the people. Receive, therefore, instructions through my words, and it shall do you good. So these instructions and knowledge is going to do thee good, ultimately. It's going to be to your benefit, man. If not, then the consequence is is um is going to be death by pain, huh? In a matter of speaking, it's going to be a, um a not so um, pleasant feeling, man. In a matter of speaking, relating to judgment. Go to um. I'll go to Second Ezra. I'm in that chapter. I'll go there, read a few. Because a lot of people had that, that mindset of 2 Peter 3, 3, 3, 4, man. Let me get that real fast. Second Peter's. Um, Second Peter's 3, 3. Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scuffers walking after their own lust, saying, where is, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, of creation. That's how most of the people think. They think nothing's going to happen. They think, oh, every, everything's going to continue on, man. Ain't nothing going to happen. So they mocking and scuffing it, man, you know? The unbelievers, man. The disbelievers, man. Let the faith, let the unfaithful die in their unfaithfulness, man. Go to um, Second Ezra nine. This will be the last one. Second Ezra 
second edge is nine. And he answered me then and said, measure, and start from number one, measure thou time diligently in itself. And when thou seest the parts of the signs pass, which I had told thee before, so measure thou time, time using the scriptures, man. Um, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he has made. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's visiting the world. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, in the, you see it, you see in earthquakes, uproars of the people in the world, civil unrest, then shall thou well understand that is the most high spake of those things from the beginning that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these things were spoken thousands and thousands of years ago that a generation was going to experience regarding prophecy. And this is the generation that will experience that, man. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and the end and the end is manifest. The end is manifesting. Prophecies begin to be manifest, it's being made known, man. You seeing things happen. Even so the times also have plain beginnings and wonders and and powerful works and ending and effects and signs. Now I'll go down nine real quick. This relates to um, what I was quoting earlier. Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. That's two thirds. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. That's two thirds, man. They have not re they have received things, but they have not give honor and homage to Yahweh Shemiyasha. Or recognize or give uh, recognition that the Lord has blessed them with that. Um, 11. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had a liberty, and when it as yet a place of repentance was open into them, understood not, but despised it. They despised it, man. They have a heart, instead of harking the heed to it, they despised it, man. So, consequences the same must know it. it after by death by pain. That's how they gonna majority of people gonna know it by death by pain. I'll read thirteen. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when but inquire, inquire, find out research how the how the righteous shall be saved, man. Who who the world is and and for whom the world is created. Because the world was created ultimately for the righteous sake. But for balance, for balance of fulfillment of prophecy, the wicked have to have their time. So the righteous had to be in the lowest state, and the wicked had to be in a position of power. Because the wicked and power, the wicked and righteous can't rule at the same time. So one has to be on top, and the other has to be at the bottom. You know. So ultimately, for the wicked to be taken down, man. So they had to be in a position where a power to be taken down, ultimately by the righteous, man. You know. This was something short relating to a few verses. Um, um, basically, it's talking about, you know, the times we're in, you know, and um, we, we in very critical times because Ephesians 5.15, be circumspect, not as, not as um, fools, but as wise, redeeming the times because they're evil. We in evil times, man. We in evil times. And evil relates to perilous and bad times, man. Just look at the state of society. And that being said, I hope it helps whoever listens to Wada. This is um, Brother um, Zayab, which means wolf. I hope it helps whoever listens. Uh, all praise the Yahweh, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakadash. Shalom. Thanks.